Hey guys, so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be a before and after makeup tutorial. So there's a bunch of different brands that I'm going to be using in this video. Uh, some of them were sent to me which I'm really happy to use and I've been using one for actually a week which I am love, in love, in love, in love with. So this has kind of replaced my Too Faced pressed powder and my Milani which is the Pure Cosmetics 4 in 1 Mineral um, pressed powder. I absolutely love this stuff like it makes my makeup look so like flawless like seriously not to mention the packaging is super cute it does come with a mirror inside so that way you can look at yourself when you are powdering up this one does have a broad spectrum of broad spectrum of SPF 15 in it and it is in the color tan that I have but I have been using this stuff for like a week and the color is like absolutely on point but the consistency the long wear is absolutely like amazing so in this video I'm also going to be using some different products as well and this one here is for Wantable it's basically a makeup subscription that you would get on I do believe it's a monthly basis and before you even get your products you would choose the things you like extremely like don't like or you know in between such as foundation eyeliner eyeshadow mascara tanning things facial creams everything that you like to use it's going to ask you questions what colors you like the most so I was sent this from Wantable and my package contained quite a few products um the one that I'm going to be using in this actual makeup video is the Ardency in which is the Americana custom coverage foundation and it's supposed to be concentrate now I will tell you that the consistency is really heavy so this is more or less like full coverage the color that I have is medium deep golden so it was a little bit too dark a tiny bit too dark for my face but you will see in the video that once I applied this I did use my like flat buffing brush and then I went over it with my makeup sponge by Real Techniques and kind of dulled the color down but what really helped it a lot was the pure minerals 4 on one pressed powder it gave my skin tone like a really even color Those of you who do like a full coverage this makeup this foundation is like amazing but once I'm done using this I will be purchasing this again and maybe like a lighter color because right now I've been self tanning I go to self tanning salon so it kind of kind of matched kind of somewhat perfect but this is like a really great foundation for those who want full coverage a sugar lip pencil um, which is in this really bright kind of like hot pink color really gorgeous color I didn't use that because I didn't want to take away from the eye look that I have going on also came with a sharpener and I also have a complexion mask um, with a powder mask and of course you do have to mix it but the one thing that I was like so amazed with but it's like kind of bummed kind of bummed out was with the Emma New York eyeshadow so the color that I have here is the Park Avenue pink which is absolutely a gorgeous color and I do have that on my entire low lids and it's more or less a matte color um, so they do come in these little, you know, pants like this. Really cute. You can flip the lid. There isn't a mirror. However, when I got mine, it was broken. It was crushed. But, you know what? I didn't cry about it. I still used it. So it's more or less like a loose pigment, a loose eyeshadow pigment. Of course, you can fix this with rubbing alcohol. Just spritz some rubbing alcohol and you can pack it back in. So I may do that later on. But for right now, I do kind of like it the way it is, which is kind of like crumbly and the color consistency is like really really pretty um for this one here so i may just have to order that one myself and, and just get the like the regular one regular one but yes so the one thing that i'm really excited about in this video that i showed you guys in my real talk video is the candy lips pouting lips which give you fuller lips um throughout the day Oh my god, I was so excited to use this. So I did get this product from Candy Lips and I was absolutely amazed. So if you want pouty lips and you want something that is not permanent but kind of temporary, then you really need to check this product out. So it comes with an instructional booklet like so. And on the front you will see the young lady with the pouty lips and so forth like this. There are two actual kits. This one here I have is like the Kit D and it comes in these cute boxes. And it also does come with some other extra amenities. So right now it is, um, there is like a silicone ring on it. And this is just to use if you don't want the actual rim to be uncomfortable or if you have smaller lips. Right here is where you would put your mouth. 
and this is the portion where you will put your top lips as you can see the top lip right here and as well the bottom lip it also comes with a stopper it's come with this so if you don't want to say do both lips then you would just take the stopper and you would just plug the portion that you don't want to be full so if you have like a fuller bottom lip and a smaller top lip then you go ahead and use this but this is so easy to use a lot of people are kind of like scared to use it over time, it's not really scary. It's more or less like a vacuum, and it will draw the blood to your lips, which makes them fuller. It doesn't last all day. The first time that I used it, it lasts like a couple of hours. Um, the second time, it just lasted even longer. But you are supposed to use this in two-minute intervals. And basically what you would do is you would pucker up and just give like a perfect kissy lip. And you have to make sure that your lips are clean prior to using this. So you would basically pucker up and just do like a kissy face and you would go ahead and you would squeeze down on the suction cup and then you would place this over your mouth while your lips are still puckered and then let it go and it just holds on to your face you don't have to hold it for two minutes intervals you can do this you can rest if you want to do it for two minutes and then you want them fuller you can go back with like within 30 seconds to a minute and then you can go back and make your lips fuller so what I did in the big video you will see that my lips did get fuller um, because my top lip is a more as much smaller than my bottom and I wanted like some really full lips so I actually did this twice in the video tw two minutes for each time the second time that I used it my lips were really really full and they were a little swollen but within minutes they do go down you will notice like there is a slight ring around your portion of your lip above your lip but that does go that does go away within seconds a few seconds or what happened but this is just like exercise for your mouth you know when you work out or you go to the gym and you want that perfect body like say you have like the perfect or you want the perfect abs you're not going to get those results within the first few days the first time visit but over time just constantly using the gym you will get those perfect abs this is the same kind of technique with the lip um, puck, um, powder or lip plumper. You will get results the first time, but of course they will diminish within the next couple of hours. So you can always keep it with you. It does come with a really cool top so that you can leave it in your purse or carry along. But if you constantly use this throughout the day, throughout the weeks, throughout the months, your lips will become like a certain shape so you can basically shape your lips so if you don't want to get like lip injections or lip surgery then I really highly suggest trying this candy lips out lips out really inexpensive um super easy to use a lot of people probably think like this is going to hurt it may be like an uncomfortable feeling but it's nothing to be afraid of or just be scared of it's really simple and it does give you like fuller lips so in the video you will see that I am going to show this and you don't have to use this is something that I would not use every day but when I want those really dramatic lips like with the red lipstick it's kind of hard for me to apply it because of my top lip so with like certain colors I would definitely use this or if you want to enhance your makeup look then I think this is really really cool for that there is also another kit which is the black one and that one more or less has the crease at the bottom of the lip so if you want like that indention that crease like Angelina Jolie has you can get that kit and if you don't want to use that portion all the time then you can definitely just use the stopper and then just have like regular lips but yes I really like this so it did give me like some cool lips and of course you will see that in the video so let's get into this look hey love so let's get ready with this makeup tutorial I do apologize in advance that it's going to be 24 minutes but just bear with me so I just went ahead and sprayed some of the Scandinavia facial primer spray I love this stuff it does come in a finishing spray as well but I use that up and I'm going to also be using the Garnier Daily Brightener Facial Moisturizer. This stuff smells so good. It's like a bottle of flowers. Now for my eyeshadow or my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using Milani's eyeshadow product, product along with the Cover FX brush. Now the Milani eyeshadow base is really inexpensive. You can pick this up anywhere. Now just to fill in my whole entire lid, I'm going to be using the Emma New York's eyeshadow and Park Avenue Pink. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend that over my entire lid where I place that eyeshadow base. And I'm just using this color because it's light and it's going to allow the eyeshadows to go on smooth. The new Morphe 35F palette is like totally amazing. And I'm using one of their Morphe brushes. This is not the really expensive ones, 
so most of them aren't expensive but this is a little bit on the cheaper side but I will tell you this is a really great brush I think it's like either the 81 or the 581 I really can't remember but I'll tell you I'm just going to take that lighter matte color and just brush that over my crease and upwards and I'm going to go back into that palette and get more or less like a kind of I would say this is like a camel brown this is also a matte color but I'm going to put that in the crease as well and build upon it and you just want to go backwards like windshield wiper motion this is like an amazing brush and I really do like their eyeshadow palettes now once again I'm going to take this more or less rustic color brown it's more or less to me like a burnt orange and I love this color I've been looking for a color like this so long and it reminds me of one of the colors in the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette very similar to it um, less expensive you know you can buy this whole palette for 22 bucks so the brush that I'm using is more or less like a badger foot brush it's kind of slanted and fluffy but it's a really great brush especially if you want to get in a crease but you also want to smoke it out but you want your crease to be more defined this is like a really great brush um, this brush was from Dillium Tools um, and yeah I do love this brush a lot Coastal Sense also sells this type of brush as well as many other products as other brush companies sell this as well. So I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm not going to bring that color up too much, but the color is like amazing. The color payoff for the Morphe palette is really intense and it's a great product. Um, you get a lot of colors for $22. So you can't beat that. Now I'm going to take this more or less shimmered or frosted color, which is more or less like a wine color. And I'm going to go in with that same brush. And I just really want this color to be more into the crease and just a little tiny bit blended up nothing major so that's the reason why I'm taking this brush here because it can give you a really great coverage but also it can help with where you want to define your crease and make it darker to lighter and as you see the color payoff is so pretty really a nice color Now back into that kind of like light taupe color. I'm just going to kind of fix it up a little bit because I did go overboard somewhat. And I'm just going to use tapping motion. Now to brighten my lower lids, I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil. You girls know that's been around for a while. But I want the color to really pop and I'm going to go back into that Emma New York eyeshadow which is Park Avenue Pink. It's a, it's a matte color and unfortunately mine did come broken but you know something for some reason I really like the way it goes on crumbled up like that so it's more or less like a loose pigment. I'm just going to take this Sonia Castric eyeshadow brush and just pat it in and kind of like sweeping motions and tapping motions. And it's a very very light pink so it probably does appear white on camera. One of my all time favorites is Micah Beauty Gel Eyeliner in Black. Um, yeah, I've had this gel liner for a year and it's finally dried up so I guess it's time for me to purchase some more. Though this is like the blackest gel liner and it lasted me far longer than any gel liners I've ever used. I highly suggest them. I normally see them in a kiosk in a mall but I got this product sent to me in the mail so I really can tell you if they have a website or not. And I'm the worst at doing any kind of eyeliners. Now the Matisse Elite Fairy Dust is awesome i got this from ricky's new york a while ago and i'm going to be using some sally girl gel glitter glue i'm going to use a really small lip brush i don't put this on my lips i just use it for just applying any type of glue adhesive for glitter and i think this color is called exotic fuchsia ricky's new york had this amazing sale i guess this line went out of business and all of their stuff was a dollar so i kind of racked up on what they had to sell but you can use basically any kind of glitter. It says it's fuchsia, but it looks more or less to me like a wine color. But yeah, you can use any kind of glitter. And this is just what I had on hand. And the reason why I'm using a small brush is because I want it kind of right in the crease. Now just to give the eye a little bit more color, I'm going to be using a little lighter shade of that burgundy-ish color wine that's in the Morphe palette. I don't want a lot but I just want to kind of like bring the fairy dust or the glitter out a little bit so I'm just going to apply some with a really tiny brush 
And now this here is the uh, makeup that I was talking about. Artisy in Americana Custom Coverage Foundation is awesome. This color is so pretty, but prior to that, I just used my Too Faced Pour, Pour and Primeless um, Facial Primer. And it is a nice size bottle. You can buy this online at Sephora. I've never seen it in the store. I'm just gonna use some drops. Now you can mix this off camera. I did mix it with my, I think it's Revlon or L'Oreal Luminator. Oh my God, it is so amazing. Now it did go on pretty thick as you can see here. And the color is probably a little bit too dark for my skin as you see me buffing it in. But I am going to fix this. This foundation lasted me the entire day and I was so amazed. So I'm just going to spray some of that Scandinavia on my Beauty Blender sponge and kind of dull the color down a little bit. But even though the color looks too dark for my skin tone, it actually is going to work out perfect for me in my favor. Now the Maybelline New York Master Cleanse Concealer in the color light is one of my favorites as too. And you can buy this at any drugstore. And I'm just going to highlight the areas that I want to be highlighted in no particular order. And I do allow that concealer to sit on my face for like a minute just so it can dry up a little bit. It gives better coverage when you allow it to dry instead of just starting to go in while it's still wet. You want it to kind of like settle into your skin. I'm just going to buff that in. Just keep on buffing it. Be in my face with the sponge and more or less like pouncing motions. Now into my Morphe 9C Contour and Highlight Palette. I have gone to pan on this stuff. It is like amazing setting powder. And it seems like it's better than the Ben Nye Banana. Because that gives me like this yellow, oldish kind of antique look. So I really like this one a lot better. I guess I'll be ordering a new palette just for that one particular color. I really wish they would have sold these colors separate. Because I really don't use like the contour colors too much. But to contour my face, I'm going to be using the NYX The Go-To Palette, and I'm going to use that contour in there. I love more warmer contour colors. The ones in the Morphe palette are more or less like cool tone browns, so I really don't like the cool tone. Um, I'm more or less a warm tone person, so I'm going to use that NYX one. And the NYX one is actually amazing, like really inexpensive palette. I think it's 15 bucks. I purchased this at Ulta around um, Easter. And to give my nose some contour, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Bronzer and the color Bronze Me. So the consistency of these are more or less creamy. You do need like a certain brush or you can use your fingers. So that is one thing that I find really tricky about using any of their products. You have to have like the right brush. So I just basically use the contour and bronzers. Now to dust off that excess uh, setting powder, I'm just going to use a fluffy brush there. And to highlight underneath my eyes, I'm going to go into the Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the color Milk. And I'm just doing this because I want the colors that I'm going to be applying to stand out a little bit better as well as adhere to my skin. I'm going to take that same darker kind of rustic color brown and I'm just going to basically shade that in underneath my waterline. Oh my God, this foundation, I absolutely love it. Um, I've been wearing it for days and it actually helps a lot with my highlight. There's basically hardly any creasage. Now I did use a lighter, the lightest shade in the uh, Morphe 35F palette, which is the one that is the top. So you're looking at it, the top left. And I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Size Clean Mascara, which is my favorite and just mascara up these falsies. These are individuals, so they last me for like two to three weeks. I don't have to remove them. Sometimes may, may, maybe one may fall off, but other than that, I love them. The Essence 3 Triple Black Mascara is really inexpensive at Ulta. This was $2.99, and I love to use this, especially for my bottom lashes, along with uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex. I also do use that. Now it is time to get these lips prepared, so I'm gonna be using Benoit's Watermelon Lip Scrub, and make sure I wipe that off because I do want some clean lips for this candy lip, lip plumper here. So excited to use this, yeah. So as you see, this is where you're going to put your mouth at and you wanna go ahead and squeeze and make kind of like a pouty lip right there. 
So let's get ready. I have set my alarm for two minutes because that is the recommended suggested time. I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to pucker up and I'm going to place this onto my lips. You want to make sure that it is covering your entire lips. And here we go. So it's not really that bad. Um, it didn't hurt or anything like that. You can feel it sucking your lips, more or less like a vacuum. But yeah, let's see how this turns out. It's just a few seconds left. And as you can see, I didn't need any hands to hold it on, which is really cool because you can just do other stuff for two minutes. And now it is time to remove this baby. And these are the results after the first two minutes. Of course, there is a small ring around my lip, which will disappear within a few seconds. And not really much of a difference. You may see a little bit, but I think I'm going to do it again. And this time I'm going to use the kind of like silicone ring on top of that. So that way I don't get any lines. And it's also good if you have smaller lips. And I did wait one minute prior to reusing this. And let's give this another try. And I'm going to go for two minutes once again. And as you see again, hands free. So I do feel the actual suction a little bit more this time. And the time is almost up. And here we go. Two minutes has passed. And as you see, my lips did have a little bit of bruising. Nothing major. But they are much fuller. Like OMG fuller. And I always wanted full lips. Okay. I was like so amazed at this product, like wow, totally amazed. So by the end of the night, there was a little bit bruising to my lips, but within the next two days, it did leave away. Nothing major. So into the Pure Minerals 4-1 Press Powder in the color tan. I love this freaking pressed powder. It's so pretty and it does suggest on the back to use in circular motions, and which I actually did. As I do with all of my pressed powders, I'm going to apply that to my entire face and set it with my e.l.f. setting spray. So you do see that the foundation color did dull down. And for my highlight, first highlight, I'm going to be using ColourPop Highlighter in Monster. So I just use that um, highlight as with a flat foundation brush because it makes it a lot easier because of the consistency. But it's kind of like an iridescent pink. And on top of that, I'm going to just glow it a little bit more and I'm going to go back into that NYX palette. Oh my God, the glow on this, the highlight is like so shocking. For it to be like inexpensive drugstore type of makeup, this highlighter is so amazing. And sometimes it's hard for me to find the right highlighter to really show up on my skin. So I really do like this palette here. I'm just going to also use that blush in the palette for my cheeks. It's more or less like a coral peach color. Very light colored. I really didn't want to bring too much attention to the face. It was more or less for the eyes. Now two of my favorite ultra satin lips are by ColourPop and the first one that I'm going to be using is in the shade called Echo Park. Really strange because I did have to cover a little bit more lip being that I used my candy lips but yes I really do like this and this is also in the shade Little Stitches which is another ultra satin lip by uh, ColourPop and I love these. These colors last all day and it's so inexpensive. For six dollars where are you going to buy like the best quality lip shade like seriously. Now time for my hair. I'm going to be using or wearing my Model Model wig, which is Harper in color 1B. It's super hot outside and I really didn't want too much hair on my neck. And I really do love this pixie cut. Unfortunately, the model did not really wear it that well. But you know what? We all have to put our own twist and flavor to things. And you girls know Aussie Instant Freeze is my favorite. It can set a synthetic wig just as well. But I love this short haircut because it's just so chic and just classy and really, really cute. So just to add some essential accessories to the look. And here we go. This is the finished look. I hope you girls enjoyed the video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll see you girls on my next video. Bye.